to Alabama. Uh, a one-point victory over the Texas Longhorns in Ooh. most watched college football game in history is what I saw today. Wow. Uh, regular uh, season, right? Regular season game, correct. Yeah. In insane game through and through. But if we're going to overreact, boys, okay. the overreaction would be that all of a sudden – that door's cracked open a little bit, and this dynasty that's been there running the sport, it all runs through Nick Saban and the Tide. Maybe that's over. Maybe that's not the Don't rule do here. Don't Maybe, do this. Don't do this. I've watched two games of Georgia, and I watched Georgia go head-to-head -head with them in the title game last year, and you tell me who looks like the bigger dog right now, Felder. What do you got? Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Give Greg. me reasons why. Why why can't we do this? Because are you really telling me Georgia's not going into that stadium with Matthew McConaughey and whoever be damned on the sidelines and running that team out by two touchdowns? I think that they would absolutely do that. I agree with you. But I yeah. also think that Nick Saban is making a point. He's letting them know you ain't that good. He's letting his own team know they're not that good. He's letting them know maybe you should take those extra reps and like, maybe you shouldn't take that lab where you miss practice on Thursdays. Maybe you shouldn't like, you've got to do what I'm telling you to do because like, I don't know. Like I want, when I watch the game, I watch the play calls and I watch how pedestrian everything is. And it's Nick Saban being like, you guys can be beat. You can lose. You need me. I have to get you to where you want to go. And Max, get you tell and, and so, so what you're telling me is you're you're saying he he he's that daddy that's trying to make a point by dropping his kids off that when they live in the suburbs, drop them off in the hood at a yes. that's what you're saying. And then he yeah. just drops around the corner and watches them for 15 minutes to see how they react. That's that's, yeah. that's what you're telling that, me. That's that's a perfect analogy because I <laughs> the analogy that I had was. He's the dad that like loads up a kid, like kids like I'm running away. And then he's like, okay, sure. Go leave. And then he puts so much stuff in their suitcase that they can't carry it to the front door. That's what he's doing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. See, I was going to say, he's also the dad that says, go ahead, leave with everything you have here. Oh, that's right. I bought everything. So you can get out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, but, but I think when you look at it, it was a moment where Nick Saban the king mastermind chess mm -hmm. player looks for a way to manufacture chips to Bingo. put on shoulders because you've been at the top for so long. How do I create a sense of urgency? How do I create duress and stress on these guys that are comfortable? We Bingo. have $100 million facilities. Y'all can walk in a room, tell a person what you want to eat. They make it on demand. You have your vitamins made for you. Everything's catered to you. What is the importance and the stress of you being better or pushing yourself? Bingo. This game right here is the perfect moment, the penultimate moment. And even as all of us in the country were rooting against Alabama in the last minute of that game, they said, no, 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 not so fast, my friend. And Bryce Young, with a little shoulder shimmy, let everybody know that I'm still here. That Heisman Trophy, that's mine. And you know what? I'll probably pass it to one of my buddies in my locker room, but nobody else in the country is getting this. <laughs> that's what that moment was. And it was right at the grips of defeat. They said, no, nah, we'll win. And they did that. Like, like here's the reality. Max, like, Max, imagine if they just ran two-minute offense the whole game. Dude. They would have won by what, 35? Oh, easily. Easily. T Texas couldn't keep up with them in the pace situations. And especially in that heat. Now, we have to remember there was, uh, you know, 115,000 plus there, but it was also 116 degrees. degrees. On that field yeah. that so these dudes were leaking. Bama's not going to see any type of heat like that the rest of the year. Yep. These boys, even as humid as it gets in Alabama, it still was mild during training camp. So this was the worst possible situation they could be in, and they still won. So that confidence now has just gone through the roof. And so let me – and well, I, I don't mean to interrupt, Greg, but I was gonna say the confidence goes through the roof, but also the like that dogged determination yeah. that goes that skyrockets where I don't want to be the guy that costs us whether whether it's Helms at the safety position 
battle yeah. at the branch, those guys at the secondary. It's because it, they got burned a couple times by Worthy. They 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 that happened. It's the offensive line and Randolph and 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 Ikior. Like they have to they have to make it work. And Saban can walk down the line and look at every single one of those guys and go, uh, Henry Toa Toa, um, do you want this to be like the Texas game? And yeah. now they have to they got to respond. So I, to- let me ask this because you guys have both played college football at the highest level, right? Does it worry you at all for this team to have to be taught that lesson in week two or whenever it is after the heels of losing to a team in your conference in the national title, though? Like, I guess to me, I I would think that that's what we're pointing back to and saying, don't let this be like Georgia, right? We don't need to be taught that lesson again as far as like entitlement and that stuff goes. Does that say something about the players that that's still lingering after not reaching the mountaintop or no? No, no, because they reach that mountaintop literally every single year. um, And they've had those other lessons, but I think it's the new era. And when I say new era, I'm not talking about the cap collection in the back that Felder sporting. I'm talking about the fact that the era of the transfer portal, the era of guys moving in and out, from team to team, it's no longer that nucleus that carries through where, you know, say was like, hey, if you come here, you stay from freshman to senior year, you're guaranteed a championship. No, these guys move. Parts come from all over to want to be here and guys who feel like they can't play leave and go elsewhere. So every year it's a new cycle. Yeah, there's some faces that you can point to from last year, but every team every year is a different iteration of the program and it's a new journey every single season. And I, I, I'm going to piggyback on that. I think that um, you mentioned the new journey every single season, but Jermaine Burton, guess what? You know who you're not? <laughs> you're not Jamison Williams. Or Devontae Smith. Or, or Devontae Smith. Or, you're not, or John, you're not even John Mechie. Yeah. yeah. So you're going to you're gonna have to catch these footballs and not have drops on crucial third downs. So, yeah. yes, you have to make a choice. And so I think he has individual people that he's pointing out. And let's let's not let's not, I'm not gonna belabor the point, but the point, but I do want to make the point that last year Nick Saban was very nice to this football team. Yeah. This year he's not very nice to them. And he knows he knows where they should be, he knows how good they can be, he knows where he wants to be, and he wants to be there. And he it listen. You either you get on the bus or you don't get to school that day. That's the reality of the situation right now with Nick Saban. And this game was him calling vanilla plays and just, I want to see you work. Like this was, this was him. He made them work. They had to earn it and realizing that you're not that good. Well, it was Smokey's mama, right? And Friday. Yes. Hey, mom. Li- make listen. it enough. Go go to the store with this. Hey, this ain't enough. Uh, make it enough. That's it. Yes. I mean, that's essentially what he was saying. But we gonna run duo out of this base personnel group. Guess what? Make it five yards. But coach, they're lined up in a bare front. I don't care. Make Do it. it enough. <laughs> Do it. Do so, it. Yeah. So I completely agree. And 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 statement heard. Statement said. And hopefully, lesson learned now better than like we said national championship game Bingo. where you've been smelling yourself the entire way. You think it's yep. all roses. So it, it'll be fascinating to watch it play out. I think I pulled the stat uh, on one of last week's shows. There were seven games last season that were decided by single digits for Alabama. Uh, so m- maybe this is a lesson that has needed to be taught repeatedly. Who knows? Maybe there's something else amidst. I trust you guys. You guys uh, are the experts here at Field of 12. So if you say that was a lesson, I, I firmly believe you. What's going on, guys? Rob Doster here, the founder of the Field of 68 and the Field of 12 Media Networks. I wanted to take a quick minute to let you guys know about an exciting new project that we have been working on for the last three months. The Almanac, an all-encompassing preview of the 2022-23 college basketball season. We spoke with 
every single Division One head coach to give you a robust and accurate preview for all 363 Division One college basketball teams. We have predictions for conference finishes for all 32 leagues. We have features on the best freshmen, the best big men, the breakout stars, the coaches on the hot seat, so much more. It is 600,000 words of sheer happiness for the college basketball fan in your life. The Almanac is going to be available for digital purchase on September 26th for just $19.99, but you can pre-order it today using the promo code HOOPS and save 20%. Just hit the link in the description below.